Yo, 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 welcome back everybody to a brand new PTCGO video and today we are going to be using a very hyped deck right now. Now, Solgaleo GX, and we're looking at the Solgaleo GX in case you haven't caught on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't ask what that was, but the thing is, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but Solgaleo GX has been seen play with a lot of Lorantis GX right now. Well, we're going to be looking at Solgaleo GX with... Darkrai and Dragon. So Darkrai Giratina, I think won Anaheim. I mean Darkrai Dragons is just one of the best decks in the format, hands down. I mean Speed Darkrai is good too. Uh but Dragon's Darkrai, I always thought was the better deck because you had more than just Darkrai to use. You could use Salamence, you could use Giratina. Heck, if you wanted to run like I don't know, Hydreigon, you thought like you have a lot more options with Dragons. Darkrai Dragons, I think, is the better of the two Darkrai Speed decks. It won Anaheim. It's obviously the best, or maybe arguably the best deck in the format. Up there with, like, Vespaquim, Mew2Y, Evil Tall Garb, Volcani, and stuff like that. Now, e Darkrai Garb is very good, or Darkrai Dragon, sorry, it's very good. But what if we ran Darkrai with Solgaleo GX? So Solgaleo GX is a very, very good card. I think this is one of the best GXs in the format. So, it has a good ability in Ultra Road where it acts like a built-in switch, but it has the GX attack, Soul Burst. So basically, search your deck for up to 5 energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. This is incredible because it's any energy you want. So this does not have to be basic energy. You can attach Double Dragon Energy, which counts as 2 Dark Energies for Dark Rise, Dark Pulse, and you already know where this is going. So the whole goal of the deck is to use Sogaleo's Soul Burst GX attack, which obviously you need a metal energy for, which we have rainbow energy for. The whole goal of this deck is to try and get Sogaleo in play, use Soul Burst once, and then just get a ton of energy in play, and then just wreck face with Darkrai. This deck is very, very, very cool. I think this is like one of the most awesome decks in the format. Like, it's such a cool idea. So we're going to try and make it work. So... I've seen some lists on this deck play like Max Elixir. I don't think you need it because and we only run five dark energies. Max Elixir with five dark is really awful. It's literally most of the time you're not even gonna hit them unless like you're really lucky. Like I just don't see a point running Max Elixir when you only have five darks. It doesn't work for Rainbow and Double Dragon, so yeah, there's no point. So this is gonna be a version where you actually have to try and get Sogaleo into play. Um, so I don't know how well it would work. Uh, we do run a 313 line. Again, this is a list. This, you hear me? Do, do you hear me? This is a list built around the Sogaleo in play. This is all about getting Sogaleo into play. Less on having Sogaleo as like, oh, hey, if you want to use Solberus, GX, get more energy in play. There you go. This is literally all about trying to get your Sogaleo in play on like turn two or turn three by the latest. Because when you use Solberus, GX, you're going to set up beautifully. So that's that. Now, this deck has a lot of good things going for it. Obviously, Sogaleo GX, having Soul Burst, getting all this energy in play is insane. But you also have Sunsteel Strike, which could be a decent attack. I mean, it does 230 damage, which most won't survive. I mean, unless, like, it's a Zygarde. I mean, no, even Zygarde gets knocked out. The only thing that won't live is, like, other GXs with big HP, like Decidueye and other Sogaleos. And Waylord, that's it. So most of the time, you're going to be just destroying everything with Sunsteel Strike. So not only are you going to be running the Rainbow Energy for Sunsteel Strike, you have that advantage of just having that. Now, yeah, so that's the goal of the deck is just Soul Burst GX, get a ton of energy in play, mainly Double Dragons, and then just boom, go to town from there. So yeah, it's basically all about just threatening your opponent very early on. So we are going to play three Dark Cards for Dark Pulls, two Dragons. You have two Giratinas, one Salamence. Salamence is an amazing card. But Giratina's a lot better now, uh, especially with the rise of Vespaquin being so popular. Giratina can be really good at slowing down Vespaquin. Um, we got one Baby Evil Tall. It's just a nice card to have. It's a good non EX attacker that gives up one prize, gets more energy in play, and also could be a decent kind of stalling card if you don't want to have like a Dark Rite EX take damage and possibly get knocked out. You already be down two prizes. Baby Evil Tall gives up one and gives you some time to set stuff up, maybe get some energy in the discard. So you can Oblivion Wing, so you got that going for you. Uh, two Shamans to draw support, one Hoopa since we play a lot of EXs, and then we run the 3-1-3 Sogaleo line. You could easily go with 3-1-2 or just 3-2, but again, the goal of this deck is to get Sogaleo into play as early as possible. So going to the items, 
two nest balls to get some basics on a bench, three rare candies for a Sogaleo. I mean, you could even go with four if you wanted to. Four Trader's Mail for having so many important items like rare candy, for example. Four Ultra Ball for searching. Four Be a Seeker for all of our supporters. Two Skyfield. Skyfield's really good in this deck because when you have Skyfield in play, it allows you to have more options for stuff to move energy to. The problem with Skyfield is it, people like Parallel City, Faded Towns in the format. So when your sky field gets started, it can be brutal. Like you don't want a sky field and then just spread your energy out in total. Like you want to just usually most of the time have a five bench space. I don't even know if sky field is needed to be honest with you. Like do you even want to have a you even want to have a bench like have eight Pokemon have all this energy on all eight Pokemon only for your opponent to like parallel city or faded town or like rough sees you and then lose all that energy you just got in play with Soul Burst? Yeah, I didn't think so. So I don't know about Skyfield. I mean, Silent Lab, maybe. I mean, you could even go with, um, you know, Faded Town, Parallel City. So, yeah. But two Skyfield is just, it's just nice to have. Two Lysander, bring something up, knock it out. Three Edge, four Sycamores, or standard draw support. Two Belts. I want to run a third, but we only got two. Obviously, it gives, like, Dark Ride more HP and stuff like that. Four Double Dragons for our Dragons. We got four Rainbow Energies. Rainbow is so we can actually use Soul Burst, and also Rainbow is just have i guess i mean it allows you to sunseal strike too having four of them instead of just running metal so you can actually you know use dark pulse too so it technically counts as extra dark energy and then we have five dark energies in the deck for dark right again this list runs no max elixir it's all about getting sogaleo going and then just straight up soul bursting gx as early as possible instead of running speed with like max elixirs to keep stacking energy of place all about sogaleo soul burst so anyways we're gonna hop into a few matches with this deck seen in action so see you guys in just a minute okay guys here we go find a game with our deck let's see can we get this thing going let's find out we'll see what we're up against looks like we're playing against volcanian so yeah it's volcanian with nothing much in it though which is like no shamans no hoopas maybe octillery i don't know uh, but we do win the coin flip which is something i do know so that's a good thing so we actually can go first for once. So let's see, what can we, oh my god, this hand is actually okay in the long run. As long as, we're not going to do Sycamore, we're actually going to be able to get a turn two Soul Burst going. So, yeah, I'm actually fine with this hand. Um, as long as we don't get end, this hand is actually pretty good. Because then we can just Ultra Road and then Soul Burst with that Rainbow in our hand. So this is a good hand. Maybe I can bait my opponent thinking, like, I have a bad hand so they don't end me. They'll be like, ah, this hand's bad. There's no point in him. So, yeah. We have an Ultra Ball, which is actually even better. So, we can do that to grab Hoopa. Is it in the deck? Okay, it is. So, we'll grab a Cosmog. Right? Let me just see what's in the deck. So, we got all of our other rare candies. We are missing an Ultra Ball. Skyfield's prize. Sigmar's prize. We're, oh, we're missing a Double Dragon. That's kind of annoying. Uh, and a darkest prize. So our prizes are fair enough, I guess. I think it's gonna pass. Again, I don't want to do much else. I don't want my opponent to be like, oh, look at him. His hand must be good. I'm just gonna pass immediately and just make my opponent not end me. Because this hand is great. We can ult for Hoopa, uh, Soul Burst next turn. We can basically set up on turn two, but we just gotta hope we don't get in. Like, this is like the best hand you could ask for with this deck, basically. So, we get end, I'm going to be very sad. But let's find out. I mean, he doesn't play Shaman or anything, so... I don't know what kind of Volcanian deck this is without Shaman. Because most Volcanian decks play Shaman. Um, I mean, our Dark Guy will take damage, so that Dark Guy is kind of out of the question at this point. There's a Dive Ball. And I guess he's going to grab Remoraid. Or Volcanian. I don't know. If it, does he run Octillery? Let's find out if this is going to be an Octillery list. Nope. So it is Volcanian with no shamans, which is interesting. Well, I would have thought he at least had a thing. Alright, he does Sycamore. Me. Did he have Nen in his hand? Not in mine, alright. So he does get rid of Escape Rope. And he does get rid of Faded Town, which does allow us to do Skyfield. Uh, we're going to take some damage here, but it's fine. Uh, now, one problem is the Sogaleo is going to get destroyed, which I'm actually kind of scared of. I don't want Sogaleo to get knocked out. And that could be bad. I... Ooh, that Volcanium is going to get powered up next turn. I'm actually kind of scared. There's an Ultra Ball, but you know what? Joke's on you. You do not play any Shamans. You just get rid of another Faded Town. Okay, you know, that just gives me more options for Skyfield, which I don't really know if I even want to play, to be honest with you, because I don't want to have, like, four Volcanians on this bench. Squad Steam Up is just not fun. 
And he's down to zero card. And he's in top deck mode, okay. We're getting hit with 110. So this Darkrai is kind of useless at this point, but it's all good. So what do we top deck? Evil Tall. That's actually not too bad. So we will Rare Candy into Sokaleo. We will Rainbow. I mean, I don't think, as long as he doesn't top deck like a Sycamore or something, I think our Sokaleo is pretty safe from not getting knocked out. So we'll Ultra Ball. We'll grab ourselves a Hoopa. And I'm definitely going to grab Salamence. I guess Salamence, a Giratina, and another Darkrai. See, this is where having more Salamence is good because Falcanian just has so many EXs that they have in play that, like, it's like, yeah, Salamence is just great against Volcanian. That's why I think Mega Salamence is still a very good deck to try, but I, I haven't seen many of it, sadly. I don't know. So we can do this. We can Sycamore. We don't have Max Elixir, so we can't really rely on that. But what can we find? We do find a Belt, which... I'm actually going to put Salamence. Salamence, I think, is going to be a great attacker in this matchup. So let's go with Ultra Road. Switch into Sogaleo. And it is time to Soul Burst GX. And, alright, so we'll put one Double Dragon on Salamence. We will put one Double Dragon on my boy Giratina. We, okay, so that's two energies. Uh, I guess we'll power up a Darkrai. So we got one more energy, and I guess I'll put a double dragon energy on to the Salamence, because I think this is going to be a much better attacker. I don't know, he can top deck Enhanced Hammer, and then we're screwed. But look at that, we basically got a ton of it. If he top decks a supporter, I swear to God. Watch him actually top deck a VS Seeker, or like a Sycamore, or a Trainer's Mail. Okay, but this is great. I mean, turn two, Solgaleo is just what you want. Alright, no, just a fire. Alright, I mean, it's not not going to say. Solgaleo, we can even just charge up too. Yep, 100 damage. Okay, I'm fine with that. He can build a Volcanian. That is fine. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, Ultra Road into Salamence for sure. I think Salamence is gonna be the best attacker here. And I think I'm just gonna put a Dark Energy onto Darkrai. And... How much are we doing? Okay, we're doing 60... Hold on, I'm actually doing the math. I think it's 180, but hold on. Don't want to screw it up. Beastly Fang. So we do 60. 50, 110. 160, Alright, we're not knocking out a Volcanian, unfortunately. But, we could mail for Via Seeker and just Lysander that out. Cause I'll get hit. I mean, if he top decks like a supporter, we're going to get a lot of damage. Oh, wait, we might even get Salamence knocked out. But... I don't mind. I guess we'll take the knockout with Dragon Strike. I don't think Beastly Fang's doing enough damage. If he had, like, a Shaman in play, which he doesn't run, we could have just licensed him out. This is Skyfield. Alright, we're in a really good spot right now. Maybe I should have done Sycamore, but I want to hold on to this Rainbow Energy. You know, we can attach it to Sokaleo next turn. So, if Sunsteel Strike one-shot Volcanian. So, my opponent, if he top decks a supporter and actually gets a knockout, I am going to be very livid. But let's see, what will he get? Nothing. Alright, so he can hit me for 130, but it ain't knocking me out, and even then we can just hit him with a dark ride, which I might as well do. Save the Salamence for later. I mean, we have a lot of energy on it, which is kind of bad, but hey, it's all good. And, uh, yeah, we can Rainbow Energy you. And I'm just gonna hold on to this hand for now. I mean, we could get into three, but we can do 240 just like that. It is, what, our fourth turn? We're already doing 240 damage. Jeez Louise. Taking two prizes. More energy. Booyah. And I mean, we're in a dominant position. Salamence Rex's Volcanians. Darkrai is destroying him right now. We can even do Sunsteel Strike. I mean, we basically win this game, guys. I just don't even see how my opponent can win at this point. Unless he took out Salamence, because we would lose a lot of energy. But nope, just a pass. So I'm just going to take advantage of this and just knock out his Volcanium with two energies on it. Uh, he's probably going to concede, but whatever. Boom! Dark Coals 260. Just get wrecked. Get wrecked, we can take two prizes, and we basically win. There's no way he's going to be able to win the game. Yeah, can see. <laughs> Stek is awesome. <laughs> Stek is insane, dude. Holy cow. When you get play, when you get plays like that, in like games like that, where you just destroy your opponent with all that energy, holy, this, it's so satisfying. This is without doubt the most satisfying deck I have ever played. But we're going to find another match. Because I can. 
Alright, water toolbox. Maybe. I'm no shamans though. Why am I right? Maybe it's Greninja, but then you don't play Talon Flame either. So I'm kind of confused. What's with all these decks without shaman in them? It could be water toolbox, or it could be Greninja with Octillery, but he doesn't play Talon Flame. I mean, we do lose a coin flip, which sucks. I really want to do a turn two soul burst, but whatever. Let's see. What is our hand going to be? If we talk to Candy any time down the road, yeah, this hand actually could be decent. So let's see, what is this deck? Alright, looks like it's Water Toolbox, but without, pardon me, but without Shaman or Hoopa. So I have no clue. I, maybe it's, I, it's gotta be Water Toolbox with like no shade. He probably just runs Octillery as like a budget card to have, I guess. Uh, whatever. We can draw an extra card, maybe get a rare candy. Eh, that's not what I want. Alright, yeah, it's water tool box. But I'm fine with that. I mean, one if he wants to ever like Lapras GX me for like 100 damage for freeze, we he can we can try an ultra road if we ever get Sogaleo down the road. So there you go. So there's a belt. Alright, we I'm hoping he gets something here. I mean our top decks are gonna be pretty reluctant here unless he ends me. Uh, there's a Reg Ice. Okay, we're gonna have the Sunsteel Strike to get around that, or Lysander, which is fine. I mean, he's already gotten a Mana Fee down, so that's an easy prize. I'm not really worried about Reg Ice with Sunsteel Strike. It is a waste of energy, but it's for the good of all. Alright, Max Elixir. Hopefully this does not hit. And it does. Great. Amazing. See, this is why I think Silent Lab is a little better in this deck, because you can shut down Mana Fee's ability, you can shut down Steam Up, you can shut down Shamans if you ever need to. Shut down a lot. There's a die ball. I, hopefully this dude does not have like a sycamore in his hand. I would be devastated. But I mean this hand is fine. We obviously can do a lot with it. Maybe. We have if we top deck like a candy or something, this hand is gonna be perfect for next turn. We're gonna be able to do a turn two Sunsteel Strat or Soul Burst, but with really not a lot to put the energy onto, which is kind of bad. So that's one thing. So he does run Octillery, which is Okay, just gonna go Professor Kyuki. All right, that's fine. Hopefully, just get some nothing. We'll see if he even has like an artillery in his hand or like a die ball. No, it's just a pass. All right, top deck. More energy, which we don't really need. So I guess we'll dark energy the active. We'll do nest ball. Man, I really wish I could just grab Hoopa, but we can't. So we'll grab Cosmog. And I mean, if we can top deck, uh, if we can top deck, what's his face? I can't think of the name. Rare Candy. Then we can turn to Soul Burst, I guess. We can put a lot of energy on Sunsteel Strike, I guess. Alright, there's a Transmail. I'm hoping this dude does not have an active turn. Like, we gotta buy a little bit more time here to actually do stuff. But, other than that, I mean, I'm not really too worried right now. I mean, Lysander is the only way we're gonna get around Red Red is only doing 70 damage anyways at the most. Or 80, which is like nothing. We're gonna one-shot with Volcano. We have so many options, though. I'm not even worried about this right now. And he gets a Sigamore. Come on, dude. Oh, dang it. Okay, that's annoying. I kind of want him to end me. Maybe he'll be nice and actually end me. Maybe he's like, oh, this dude's got to have like a crazy hand, but joke's on you. I know he's probably going to have Sigamore, isn't he? He's going to do Sigamore. He's not going to end me. Max Lixir, hopefully this does not get a water energy. Uh, oh, I got one. It's taking like two years. Yeah. I'm not really worried about Red Eyes when we have Sunsteel Strike. Thankfully, that's one good thing. I mean, you can always run Ranger in this deck, too, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. Alright, there's Sycamore. It's not an end, which is a little annoying. Hopefully, we can top deck something. I mean, if we top deck Sycamore, I'm going to be kind of sad, because then we're going to lose two Sokaleos. So, let's see what else happens. So, just an Artillery. I and mean, he has no energies on his active Lapras. He's kind of just chilling there, doing nothing right now. Obviously, if he does one more Mex Elixir and an Energy Attachment... He'll be able to resistance blizzard me, which I pray does not actually happen. Alright. Did that max elixir actually hit? Tell me it didn't actually hit. No, of course it did. Great. So the max elixir actually ended up hitting, which sucks. Which sucks! And an energy switch. If you have double energy switch, I'm actually going to cry. I mean, Darkrai's not really getting knocked out anytime soon by Red Ice, but... It's going to be super bad... I mean, he's used up all his males. He still has one max elixir left. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, he just retreats. Is he going for Ice Beam? Okay, if you go for Ice Beam and I have, like, an explosive turn, which I won't, but obviously. Like, he is. Wow, okay. 
I mean, we obviously have Sokaleo. Alright, he gets heads, that's a little annoying, we're not gonna be able to damage this thing. Shaman, alright, that's actually pretty good. So we'll do this, we'll rainbow that, we'll skyfield, get rid of that rough seas. And we'll set up, and hopefully we can find something to get us out of this dead hand. Oh, uh, what do we get? Wow. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I am happy now. <laughs> I am happy now. Alright. We will Ultra Ball. We got rid of a Double Dragon, so we're going to lose at least one, which is bad, but whatever. And I think I'll grab... Uh, let's just... Let's grab Hoopa. We know he's going to Rough Seas at some point, so... Might as well just fill our bench up with a bunch of useless EXs. So grab Hoopa. We'll grab Darkrai. We'll grab Shaman. We'll grab Giratina. I'm not going to need the Giratina, but I need to play down it. I need to have another Dragon on my field, at least. So My field is this Yu-Gi-Oh. So we'll play down all these guys. And I'm going to stick them I'm not going to bother Shaman. I don't want to just end up setting up into cards that I actually need. So, yeah. Let's Ultra Road, and then we can knock out Regice next turn. So... Bring up my boy, and it is time, my friends, to do the Soul Burst GX. So, first things first, we gotta put some Double Dragons into play. I guess, I mean, we can block Rough Seas, anything. And, alright, we're gonna put, okay, that's two, three. So, we're gonna put one Rainbow on this so we can knock him out next turn. We'll then Dark Energy this Dark Ray. And we will... The reason I'm going to put all my energies on this one is because that Lapras can knock out this thing. So yeah. Boom! Just like that. Soulburst GX. There you go. Got all our energy in play. This is good. We can knock out Regice next turn. Unless he Ice Beams me. If he Ice Beams me, then we may have to... We may have to Ultra Road and we might have to retreat. I don't know what we can retreat though. I let, yeah, maybe it'll just be nice. I'm hoping this is a Ice Beam doesn't get heads. Cause then he could maybe knock this knock me out eventually down the road. There's rough seas. We can get rid of that hoopa since hoopa obviously is just taking up two bench spaces. All right, what am I saying? It's taking up some spots on our bench. Plus from character. And has that two retreat cost. So hoopa is gone. All right. So what else my opponent gonna do? Sycamore. All right. Let's see what he gets rid of. Hopefully some really important cards. Glacion. That could have been not really problematic, but you never know. Could have been uh, something. Pokemon Ranger might be a good addition to this deck if you're really worried about Regice and Jolteon and whatever else. I don't know. If you're really worried about those cards, yes, you can probably just end up throwing in a Ranger. It wouldn't kill you. So let's see. Resistant Blizzard, I'm guessing? Okay, there's a Dive Ball. Uh, what can he grab? He grabs another Lapras. Again, I mean, Lapras is super easy to one-shot with Darkrai, so that's a good thing. All right, so yeah, we are down to double dragon, so that might come to bite us in the butt if we lose a lot of double dragon access mints. So that could be bad, but it's all good. There's an ultra ball. I really digging, but I don't really know what he's digging for. He's probably just trying to draw more cards with a pistol hand. Hope for the best, I guess. Probably we'll grab another red ice. No, another lapras. Fine by me. He probably only runs one red ice then, I guess, because I mean he. Uh, if I was him and I had two regice, I would grab another regice. So it's like, hey, you're going to Silver's me. You're going to lose all your energy. So then you're going to have to manually build them up. That's going to take some time. Bissell Hand. I don't really know what he's digging for. We take out this regice. We're out three of his energies. He's down, like, not only that, much max lizards left. So I'm feeling safe. He's low on cards, too. 14 cards. And Resistance Blizzard. Perfect. Now, I don't even think his Lapras can knock me out, in all honesty. So let's just use up our last rainbow energy. How much HP do we have? One sixty yeah, we're gonna get knocked out. So we might as well just do this. And we will belt the dark rye. I'll do mail. See if I can find like another belt or something. Rare candy. I guess we'll grab the rare candy. If we ever do sycamore, we can do that. So Sunsteel Strike. Ha! I'm at a GX. Boy, you're getting smacked in the face. Luckily, Red Ice is only for DXs. So 460, that weakness of metal is just insane. We gotta lose some of our energy though, but. I'm fine with that. We still have a lot of energy in play. We're not going to do any one-shotting damage, but we can still keep putting energy in play. It's all good. Unfortunately, we're kind of done with uh, Solgaleo. We can't do any more Sunsteel Strikes because we're out of the uh, we're out of Rainbow Energy. We have one left. Sorry, we have one left, but 
we can't, we, we don't have any more metals to do it. I don't know, you can maybe run like one metal energy if you really want to try and do two, you know, flip seals. There's a sycamore, okay. He's probably digging for max elixir and energy switch to knock me out, but even if he knocks me out, it's like, who cares? You know, like, I have no energies on me. So Vallejo's done its part, it's do it did its sobers, it took out the threat of red ice. So, if it gets knocked out, it honestly doesn't even matter. He's going to take two prizes, I guess that matters. But it is what it is. So there's an energy switch. Okay. Alright, just a blizzard burn. Or the knockout. But now I can't do blizzard burn again, so hot joke's on you. Uh, yeah, we can knock out Manaphy, maybe, but then he can just Blizzard Bring me, and I don't really want to walk into. So, let's, might as well play down Giratina, I guess, doesn't really matter. Let's put a Dark Energy on you, let's go for the Sycamore, maybe we can find like an N or something on him to 4, he's really low on cards, we can just win by decking him out at this point. There's a Sky Field, we can bump that Rough Seas on, he's probably got one left, how many has he played? Two, yeah, he's probably got one left. Baby Evil Tall, we can put him down and then discard Shaman. Let's go with Trainer's Mail. Grab. Have we played an end yet? No. But we can grab Via Seeker for Lysander. Even though it's in our hand, but we'll still grab it anyways, whatever. And yeah, we can Ultra Ball Way Cosmion and Rare Candy since they're kind of useless at this point. We don't need them anymore. We'll grab. Grab Cosmog, I guess. Alright, wow. We only have one energy left in our deck. Yikes. I mean, we have some prize, though, so there's that. Maybe... Oh, we're not knocking him out, I don't think. Yeah, 190. He lives. If he had that belt on, he wouldn't, but it's fine. He could Blizzard Burn us, or Ice Beam GX us. We don't have Sogaleo in play, either. We can't get any more in play. So, I, you could run Switch in this deck. There's a lot of options you can put in this deck, obviously, but... Yeah. We're probably gonna lose our Dark Rye this turn. Energy switch, okay. I mean, again, winning, we can deck him out, too. I don't know how much energy he has left. He's probably used up all the energy switches. Another Remory, three. Yeah, he's probably got some left. I don't know how many energies he plays, but... Are you actually doing more Abyssal Hands? You are crazy. I think I'm just gonna Lysander out the Octillery and just trap it there. Just be like, hey, you wanna do... I don't know, and... We still get Via Seeker or Lysander, but he is really low on cards. Like, why is he doing? There's, hey, look at that. We got Lysander. There we go. We'll just Lysander out Octillery. Force him to have a water and an energy switch to be able to. But wait, he, can, he can't even do Ice Beam GX. He has no, no much energy. What is he doing? Huh. I am very confused right now about my opponent. I don't know. Honestly, though, I think I'm going to end the video off this game, unless I, I'm, I'm probably, I might get enough coins to buy a pack if I'm lucky. Or, or I might get those four chests we win this game. No, he retreats. Hey, my boy. My boy. Hey. There's Ultra Ball. All right, we'll play that. We got to get rid of some stuff. We're low on cards, too, but he's literally got three cards left. There's nothing left in our deck. We just can discard some stuff in case we get end again. But we could do Lysander, and we can knock out his other Lapras. And now he's, I mean, he can easily hit me with Blizzard, whatever, but does it matter? Let's take two prizes. What are we going to find? Maybe energy? No. Dang it. No energy, which kind of sucks. I need to get more in play. I, I don't even know if it matters. He's so low on cards. Lapras is one shot on me, unless he Lysander energy knocks out, like, Giratina with that, but with the little amount of cards he has, it doesn't matter. He's got two cards left in his deck. He's already used a super. I don't know if he runs Brock's Grid or not. Huh. If he does, rip my boy Harambe, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably. I don't know if I sick more. I'm going to be long cards too. Uh, I don't even know if I'll end him. There's Lysander. Okay, so he's going to bring up Shaman? What? Okay, what? Why would he bring up Salamancer Giratina? Okay. Alright, looks like he's gonna force me to have to get rid of one Pokemon. Fine, we'll get rid of this Dark Rye, I guess. Doesn't really matter. We're only one energy. I don't think that matters anymore. That was a weird play. He's doing less damage, too. What is this? What? 
Okay. And Ice Beam G. What is this? It didn't even knock me out. I am so confused right now. We win the game. We'll just end him to four. We win. I, I don't know. I bet, you know what? We still were able to pull off some crazy Sogaleo plays. But it is what it is. I, I don't even know what the heck was going on in that game. But it's, you know, she wash a boo -boo. It is what it is. We were able to win. This Sogaleo Darkrai deck is definitely a very... Oh, dude, yes! Right, we can buy a couple packs here. But yeah, this deck I think is very good. And I definitely think it has some good potential for Darkrai. So if you're if you're a Darkrai player... I don't know, peep this deck. It's a pretty good deck. Honestly, it's fun to play. You saw those insane plays. Again, this deck is very satisfying when you pull off some crazy plays. So, let's open up some packs. See what we can pull. Uh, yeah, I might as well just buy the Sun and Moon packs, I guess. I don't really need anything else. We're going to have four Shaman. So we can open up some packs. We got some chests, some Sun and Moon packs. But I think I showed off the deck pretty nicely. We were able to do a lot of crazy stuff with the deck. I mean, we beat some good matches. I mean, Volcanian, strong deck. Water, or beat water toolbox, strong deck. Very questionable play for my opponent, though, but it's all good. Wow, that is hilarious. Wait, could have been a fuller, but who cares? That is hilarious. I make a Sogaleo video, and look at that. I pull a Sogaleo out of a pack. Who would have guessed? Kappa. All right, can we pull a Secret Rare Nest Ball or Ultra Ball? Not to situate. All right, that's fine. We got another Sogaleo. I can easily trade off that Sogaleo now, which is pretty dang cool. We got some chests to open, too. Open up four chests. I don't expect to get <gasps> another Reverse Hollow Switch. That's awesome. I love pulling Reverse Hollow Switches because I like those Reverse Hollows. And, okay, another Skyfield. That's not a Reverse Hollow, I don't think, but I will take it. I'll take the Reverse Hollow Switch. I like pulling those. I like them Reverse Hollows. Where my damn? Really? Can we pull at least one rare? It doesn't have to be an EX, but at least one rare. No, you get an Aegon Spirit Link. Kind of useless, but you know what? We pulled a Sogaleo GX in a Sogaleo GX based video. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my PDCGO content. And uh, yeah, leave some comments in the video because my comment section has been very dry recently at the time we're making this. So uh, leave some comments. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully this deck looks good. Hopefully you guys are like, dang, this deck is cool. It is a cool deck. There's so many good Sogaleo options. I mean, there's like, wait, you can run like Sogaleo fairies if you really wanted to be that crazy. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the PCO video. Peace out.